Hi guys, so we are going to start substitution today, okay, and substitution just means that you are going to start replacing letters with actual numbers, okay, so the way this works is these are all your questions across the top, and then down the side here, you've got for the first time, you're going to work all the way through these questions with A equaling 3. And then when we move on to the second ones, we're going to use the A equals minus 4. Okay, we're going to stick mostly with positive ones. But for this first section, I have put you a couple of negative ones in as a bit of a challenge. So just to remind you, when it comes to negative number rules, okay, and if you don't know these yet, I'd advise writing this part down. If you've got a positive and a negative, you're going to get a negative result okay whether that is two signs together and you swap them out for a minus or whether it's a positive number multiplied by a negative you're still going to get a negative okay if the signs are the other way around it still works the same you're still going to swap them out for a minus okay now if both numbers are positive we know our answer comes out positive so that's a regular question like uh, positive three times positive two gives us positive six okay and then if you've got two minuses they're also going to swap out for a positive. So all you need to remember, signs are the same, you get a plus. Signs are different, you get a minus. Okay, so I'd advise that being written down somewhere on a piece of paper just to help you with the questions. Okay, if you do get really stuck on any negative number ones, there's not too many of them in here. Feel free to skip the negative number ones and come back to them once you've done as much as you can of the rest of it. Okay, and message me on Shine My Homework for any help. But... First one, as I was saying, substitution is replacing a letter with a number. So for this first row, what we're going to do is every time we see an A in our question, and remember these are your questions across the top, we're going to swap A out for 3. Okay, so instead of saying A plus 6, we're now going to have 3 plus 6. 3 plus 6 is 9. So that's it. Question 1 done. You've swapped out the A there. For a three we're going to do exactly the same on the next one so instead of this a we're now going to swap it with a three again so we've got three subtract three equals zero so again we swapped out that a value there for a three on the next one you've got five plus a so it's five plus and we're going to swap a out again for three so you can see all the way along we're always swapping the a out for a 3. 5 plus 3 equals 8. Okay, next one, you've got 2 subtract a. Well, that's 2 subtract and a equals 3. So 2 subtract 3 gives me minus 1. You can end up with negative answers. That's absolutely fine. Okay, right. Now, when we get onto these three at the end of our first task, remember 3a written together actually means 3 multiplied by a so when you've got a number and a letter together there's actually a multiplication sign in between we just don't typically write that okay so when we do 3a we mean 3 multiplied by and since a is going to equal 3 3 times 3 again we've done that same idea we've swapped the a out for a 3 3 times 3 equals 9 and that's it question done so the next one 5a means 5 multiplied by a so just like we did on this last question, all I'm going to do is 5 multiplied by, and instead of the A, I'm going to write 3. So we've done that same thing. We've swapped out the A for 3. Now, you don't need to do the highlighter, okay? It's just for me to show you how it works in the example, okay? 5 times 3 equals 15. Last one, and this is where our negative number rules start to come in. Minus 2A actually means minus 2 multiplied by A. So that means I'm doing minus 2 multiplied by, and again, we're swapping A out for 3. So we've swapped that A there for a 3. Now, this is where we're going to apply our negative number rules. I've got a negative number times by a positive number. I know it doesn't have a plus in front, but we all know that that is actually a positive number. So a negative times a positive, that's a negative and a positive, is going to give me a negative answer. So I know, first of all, I've got a minus. Now I can ignore the signs, 2 times 3 is six, my answer is minus six. So that's our first row. We're gonna do those same examples, but this time everywhere you see an A, like we did before, we're now gonna swap A out with minus four. 
okay so just be very careful with the one with a negative number so instead of a plus six it's now going to be minus four add six so you're going to start at minus four on your number line and you're going to add on six that's going to give us two in fact i will pause for a second if you haven't got a number line we can draw one very very quickly so just on a scrap of paper you're just going to draw a nice straight line Okay, we want to put zero in the middle and we're only going to go from minus 10 to 10. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and remember spaces don't have to be perfectly equal, you don't have to worry about it being perfectly neat. It's just to have our numbers. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So again. Minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, minus six, minus seven, minus eight, minus nine, minus ten. And remember, some of you did glue these number lines in when we were in class in your Sparks books, so you might already have some at home. So on that one, we had minus four we were starting at, and we were adding on six. When you're adding, you're going positively. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I finished on two. So my answer was two on the next one again a is minus four so we're going to start minus four but we're going to take away three now the negative number rules don't apply here because my signs aren't together okay they're not next to each other it's just minus four take away three so you start at minus four on your number line and we go one two three i get minus seven okay next one we've got five plus minus four because again we swap that a out for a minus four this time now this is where we start applying our negative number rules because what i've got is a plus and a minus together if the signs are together a plus and a minus just becomes a minus so i've got five take away four equals one next one we've got two subtract a so i'm doing two take away and instead of a we're swapping it out for minus four so again, we've got a negative number rule there because I've got two signs written together. Okay, now if I've got two minuses written together, our rule tells us we can make it a plus. So it just becomes two plus four, which is six. Hopefully not too many issues on those ones. But again, remember, if you're really stuck on the negative number ones, don't worry about the row where your question number at the start is negative. Just do all the other ones first and we'll come back to it if we've got time at the end. Okay, 3a means we're doing 3 multiplied by, and our a value this time was minus 4. Sorry about the printer again, guys. It just randomly decides every now and again to, I don't know, calibrate itself. Okay, so we've got a positive number multiplied by a negative. So a positive times a negative, I know my answer is going to be negative, so I can put a minus. 3 multiplied by 4 is 12. Okay, if I look at the next one, 5a means 5 multiplied by, and this time a is minus 4. So positive times by negative is a negative. 5 times 4 is 20. And then our last one, trickiest out of all of them, I've got minus 2 multiplied by, and a is minus 4. So a negative multiplied by a negative, my rule tells me it's a positive, so I know I don't need a sign. 2 times 4 is 8. My answer is just positive 8. Right, so that is all the examples for task 1. I know that was a long video to listen to, okay, but hopefully all of those examples made sense. Pause the video at this point, have a go at task 1 on the worksheet I've put on Show My Homework, okay. If any part of it were stuck on, feel free to ask questions, okay. Um, once you've finished that, unpause the video and we're going to go through task two okay so for task two this time we're combining two of our methods from before so you are going to be using a bit of big maths okay but we did get really really good at big maths so we can do this okay now two a plus one that means a this time all the way along this first row we're going to use the a is three so instead of 2a, remember that means 2 multiplied by a. So we're actually going to do 2 times 3 
and add one because all I've done is again, like we said in the first place, this time a equals three. So I've swapped this a out for a three. So I've got two times three because big math says do the multiplying first. Two times three is six. Six add one is seven. Okay, for the next one, 3a means 3 multiplied by a. So I'm going to do 3 times a is 3. So 3 times 3 minus 1. Now if you need to write the step in between, you can. 3 times 3 gives me 9. Then I've still got the minus 1. 9 take away 1 is 8. Next one, again, like we were saying, a letter and a number together is a multiply. So I'm actually doing 5 add 2 times an a is 3. So remember, it's big mass, so multiplying has to come first. So the 5 plus says where it is. 2 times 3 is 6. So I've now got 5 add 6 is 11. Okay. Next one, we've got 3a in here, which is 3 times a. So I'm going to do 8 take away 3 times 3. Now again, big mass, so multiplication comes before subtraction. So the 8 and the subtract stay where they are. 3 times 3 is 9. So I've got 8 subtract 9 is minus 1. If we look at the next one, 5a plus 6, I've got 5 times a is 3 plus 6. So big mass means multiplying first. 15 add 6, I get 21. And again, I've left this negative one in at the end, same as above, just to keep practicing. So I've got minus 2 times by 3 is negative times a positive is a negative. That's from our rules at the top. And then 2 times 3 is 6. Okay, so a little bit trickier on this one. All right, but I know we can do it. What I would say is pause the video at this point and try all of those questions, but with a equaling 6. And then once you've tried them all, play the video and just see if you're getting it right before you start the main sheet. OK, so on this one, I've got two times and this time we're swapping a out for a six. So I've got two times six, add one. That's 12, add one is 13. If I look at the next one, I've got three times six, take away one. So again, I've just swapped out the a for a six this time. 3 times 6 is 18. 18 take away 1 is 17. This one, again, we're just swapping that A out, but this time for a 6, remember to follow bid mass. So the 5 plus stays where it is for a minute. 2 times 6 is 12. So I've now got 5 add 12 is 17. If I look at the next one, I've got 3, sorry, 8, minus three times six now be very careful multiplication comes before subtraction so the eight and the subtract stays where it is three times six is 18 so i've got eight subtract 18 now you can if you want to go back to your number line start at eight and subtract 18 okay you should end up at minus 10 so i've got minus 10 as my answer Last two examples, I've got 5a add 6. So I've got 5 times 6 plus another 6. Well, 5 times 6 is 30. Add on 6 gives me 36. And then our last one, I've got minus 2 times 6 this time. Negative times a positive is a negative. 2 times 6 is 12. Okay, so that is all of task two. Now, this has ended up being quite a long video because of all the examples. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a separate video for the challenge section for anyone who gets onto it. Okay, but once you've done that, move on to task two on the worksheet. Answer as many questions as you can. Remember, if you haven't got the worksheet printed, just write question one and then we'll do A, B, C, D, E and F. Okay, for your questions. And then question two, A, B, C, D, E and F so that you know which questions you're talking about. You've got a much bigger sheet to have a go at, okay? Lots and lots of practice. Give me a shout if you're stuck on anything, okay? And I will, as I say, do a separate video for the challenge section at the end.